Joining me right now is Ohio Congressman, House Financial Services Committee member Warren Davidson. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for uh, joining us this morning. So what, what do you make of this, and what can you do on the Financial Services Committee? I mean, look at what you just heard Newt Gingrich say. Uh, you should be looking at all of these homes that Joe Biden has. How did he afford all of these homes? Where is this money coming from? And what about all of these uh, classified documents? Yeah, thanks for that, Maria, and it's always an honor to join you. Uh, look, the Financial Services Committee, one of the key committees that we have, subcommittees, uh, oversees FinCEN, which is our financial intelligence unit. And one of the things here is, is how has all this money moved with the Biden family? I think that'll be an integral part of this um, weaponization of government. And you look at financial data, how, uh, how really one of the things in the news recently is the IRS agents, 87,000 IRS agents. That's five infantry divisions worth of IRS agents. People know they're not going after billionaires. And everywhere you turn, you see this double standard. Clearly, when uh, Donald Trump is caught with classified information that he shouldn't have had outside of uh, proper storage, uh, there was a different standard uh, from the Department of Justice than what's being shown towards Joe Biden. Uh, and I think it, we're sick of it. We just need one standard. We need an attorney general who's going to clearly and even-handedly apply the law and be perceived broadly as doing just that. Yeah, I mean, how are you going to make that happen? Because you're sick of it, everybody's sick of it. I mean, every day there's more evidence of this double standard and of this corruption that is rife throughout Washington and this administration. And on top of that, the misinformation and the lies being spewed as well, misleading the American people on all fronts. Yeah, and I mean, this is exactly what Congress can do is uh, call attention to it first and foremost. Uh, we don't have an attorney general. We can't go arrest people in the Department of Justice, but we can create the pressure where that's necessary. And I think lastly, we have to use the power of the purse uh, so that, you know, if you don't see those things, then we actually hold people accountable. One of the things that we uh, got in the rules package is the ability to use what's known as the Holman rule. Uh, we might want to have renamed it the Fauci rule. He retired, but surely there's a consensus when you see government officials acting in an un, uh, unfair way, a biased way. If they're violating the Constitution, uh, we ought to make it where they're violating the law as well. So when you look at this collusion between uh, the FBI and big tech to silence Americans, you can say it's unconstitutional, but in a lot of cases, these people aren't even fired. It should be a crime. And those are the kinds of things we're going to have to look at as we go through this weaponization committee. Yeah. I mean, look, it has has not gone unnoticed that there was no raid on President Biden, was there? I mean, there was an entire raid uh, of a former president at Mar-a-Lago because of these classified documents, and now we find all of these other classified documents. No raid for Biden. But, Congressman, let's talk about what you and your colleagues have done already. House Republicans passed a repeal of the IRS funding. Uh, that was one of the first acts in the new Congress, as uh, Speaker Kevin McCarthy promised. Tell us about that. How will you rescind that money? Are there areas that you're looking to uh, appropriate that money instead? Yeah, I mean, instead of 87,000 IRS agents, as I always say, five infantry divisions worth of IRS agents, additional agents, not just, uh, you know, replacements as people have been trying to mischaracterize it. Um, you look at the tech and make the tax code uh, more effective and also the technology. What hasn't gotten more productive due to the use of technology? Well, government agencies first and foremost. And so uh, we look at the backlog in, in uh, cases and everything else. Uh, the IRS has been fairly unresponsive. We're still struggling to get federal employees to go back to work. Uh, you look at uh, Disney, how controversial it was for them to say, hey, you got to go to work four out of the five days instead of, uh, you know, go back to the old days. I mean, you, you got to go to work until you get the job done. That's how most of America lives. Uh, and federal government employees aren't being held to that standard. Uh, we have to make that happen. And we're going to have to continue to do things like this that put pressure on the Senate to pass our laws. And then we'll roll some of these things into these must-pass pieces of legislation like the debt ceiling. What, what do you want to roll in? Well, the 87,000 IRS agents, I mean, we know uh, Senate Democrats aren't going to take it up. If they did, Joe Biden wouldn't want to sign it as a standalone measure. Uh, but as we build these kinds of common sense standalone measures, uh, when we pass, a, when we get to a point where there's a bill that we have to pass, I see. Uh, we'll have to attach that to it. Got it. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. We'll be watching. Thanks, Maria.